3, where the last time we fought another of the Sins, and we got uh, Storm Powers, and <laughs> uh, Fear will even uh, pose like a Storm when she's floating using that new power. So yeah, let's see what uh, which of the new sins, which of the sins we'll be chasing this time. Because we also ran into Pride, but yeah, they're of course too prideful to actually face us. So yeah. Uh, Remember, is Roth one of the sins? Yeah. All right. So that means that we've encountered four, with three still to go. And I was about to ask why is the game taking so long. Israel, we did kill Roth, didn't we? Yeah, I don't. We if we killed him, we would have. Okay, why is the FPS so low? Wait, we would have also captured him. We, we stabbed him in the face <laughs> with a blade in our back, but we didn't actually yeah. beat him, at least capture him. For now, though. And, Okay, why is, is the right FPS so low? Let's see, is there anything else screwing around on this? Wait. Okay, that might be. It's um, something that's refused to shut off, it seems. So close that off. And then in Task Manager Details, set the priority to high again. Uh, there it is. Okay, set priority, high. That should fix our FPS issues. There we go. Oh, oh yeah, over double FPS when there's nothing else siphoning off processing power. Now let me turn this back to performance so I can see if anything is screwing up. And there we go. Much better. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> The, oh, I almost overlooked these here. The compass, we need to follow the compass to the next of the sins. So, yeah, that is going to be this way, and there's something up there for us to grab. But we'll just have to see how we get to that. For now, that's a dead end we've already been into before. So, up there. Okay. Oh, hello. Welcome to committee. Okay. Is it that this one's been way easier to kill now? Yeah, that, that's probably from the damage up uh, we've been getting. Well, that and the store difficulty. Yeah, that as well. Uh, Boy, I recall you really struggle with them, even on balance. <laughs> yeah, I think that says a bit about what uh, sort of idea the developers of this game, of this series, have about what should be quote unquote balanced. <laughs> <laughs> For now, though, let's, let's try to mostly ignore them and find out where the hell we need to go. The compass is pointing this way, so there has to be some way to get through here. Is it? Do we Look need to get up there? Look how you try to rip off your belt. Let's see. Does it want us to go? No, it wants us to go this way. But this is a dead end, isn't it? And now it's pointing another way. Okay. Wait. Wasn't there a hole underneath this? Yes, there is. And we hadn't gone down here, so this time we do. Alright. Burn this away now. And this. Yeah, I very much. Yeah, we haven't been here, I think. If we have, then we probably exited immediately through this crawl space. Which I'm kind of surprised that Fury even lowers herself. Yeah, to the. Yes, we have gone this way. I'm surprised that Fury yeah, even lowers herself to uh, crawling through here instead of just trying to press through straight through the freaking wall. Um, you mean you don't remember this tunnel? Yes, we had gone here to uh, get to the Nether. 
It yeah, was in the first stream. You wanna know why I remember that tunnel? Why? It's when she's commented of being uh, Dev's roommate for 1,000 years. <laughs> yeah. This is an interesting way, roommate. Like, so casual, it's just a casual thing. For 1,000 years. And that brings us up here, that brings us no... Okay, I'm guessing we need to go back to the nether then. Okay, let's just keep a full eye on... Yeah, let's keep a full eye on the compass, which says this way now, okay. Hmm. Yeah, it would really have helped if we just had a map as well. It's strange that they didn't add one of those in this game when, when the other two had one. Not ex exactly accurate maps, but still... Maps, okay, loading in the area there. Hmm. Ah, yep. the Netherlands. Not quite as I remember it. Yeah, certainly not uh, this many spiders. Then again, it's becoming spring again, so the motherfuckers are going to start spreading again. Uh, yeah, I, we, we've talked enough about this, I, uh, <laughs> I think, that I may not be afraid of spiders, but I just find them freaking disgusting. Yeah, I can handle them a little bit. The only enough, the spiders I can handle best is dryness for some reason. Probably due to, well, they the replaced the gone. spider head. Yeah, they replaced with something use a bit more pleasant. Yeah, even if in most cases with riders they'll still try to kill you. Yeah, do oddly enough, I can handle the Rubians from Warcraft for some reason. Though I suspect if I saw them I'm more like a live action Rubian or something like that, they probably will look way more terrifying. Yeah. Well, that little button guy can Okay, he's faster than I thought. <laughs> still not fast yeah. enough. Actually, uh, okay, okay, you die. Uh, since I've also been watching Star Wars, well, this is Spider General, I think, in Star Wars. Uh, yeah, the Clone Wars has uh, that character. Yeah, for some reason, he he does look disturbing. He looks. I don't. Okay, I would say Q, but that would be a bit weird, not fitting word, but. He it looks is like the fact that his I eyes could... look more normal. Yeah, he have many eyes still, but he looks more like someone you could sit next to and have a pin with or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced pint, not pint. Pint, 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 name it. Yeah. I will do it. Wait, that may come off wrong. <laughs> well, I could pint you. Probably. Okay, can I make this jump? Yes, okay, so let's grab this. Wait, oh, punt hello. is when you just uh, kick someone, right? Yeah, no, no when you're punting, uh, when you punt something, uh, you're kicking something small a long distance or uh, up high or something. All right, then, uh, I, then I can punt you. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> For example, you could <laughs> kick a, a Labrador, but you uh, could punt uh, a Chihuahua. <laughs> yeah, I can punt you. I'm taller than you! <laughs> don't, don't remember by how much. Wait, wait, what? Okay, I think my brain's tricking me. My brain tried to tell me you 1.50. Nope. And uh, Yeah, that, I thought so. I don't know why I, my brain thought that. It's 1.75. <laughs> yeah, Alright, not uh, too far off. I'm still taller than you, but uh, more like a few, uh, several centimeters. Okay, I still need to fine-tune the expressions on my VTuber model, it seems. But for some reason, when I look to the side, more often than not, it, it, it starts grimacing. Probably because the... Yeah, the, the main reason is probably because my camera is facing me at a 45-degree angle. So, of course, it's not going to get... Uh, the best readings as is. Uh, even though you can use a re 
you can use a reset position button in uh, VC faced so to have it uh, yeah reset its position to n to its nat normal state and just keep recording from there but it'll probably be better if I try to move it somewhere else the question is where I could probably try to put it down uh, in front of the monitor at the bottom of it to have it looking up at me with which would probably look a lot better with uh, yeah face tracking than just full-on uh, webcam footage because that would just look like I'm looking down on everyone all the time okay where are you pointing me thank you for the mental image <laughs> Emperor Hillian yeah, I'll I'll try that with one of my older cameras to see if that does any better. Yeah, so okay, it is pointing emperor? this way. No, using the me <laughs> putting the <laughs> putting the camera down lower. Uh, see if that has any upgrades. So, hmm. Okay. Yeah, well, well, do you think you would make a good emperor? Uh, probably not. <laughs> I I just get stuffed full of chocolate all day. Hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. So you you be that kind of emperor. You neglect duties for chocolate. <laughs> so there's a surprising, a surprising low amount of music so far in the game. Like most of the time that we've been roaming around, there hasn't been much music, if any, yeah. uh, except in combat and such. No. Okay. Round of fact time, just because we've talked about emperors. I don't remember his name, but apparently one of the emperors of the whole Roman Empire somewhere in Germany. He was very laid back. Like there was some Frenchman came over to try to just overly golden orb and all that, along with his knights same in the same manner, very unique even. And they wanted to have an uh, audience with the Emperor, and the Emperor is basically he's just in, in Piavis comes over and wondering what the heck is going on, sits on his throne and have an audience. In his pyjamas, for he's so laid back. <laughs> he was Not a good sure Emperor, I've heard though. Of that one. Yeah, yeah, how are we supposed out. to get past this? I don't know, that people li did like him, for he was apparently a good Emperor. Just, yeah, people were probably not ready for how laid back and casual he was yeah i'm pretty sure the nobility weren't well on some extent they probably were pretty happy with that since uh, a lazy emperor would be a, an easier to control emperor in their eyes yeah however he was not lazy he was just when it come to, came to himself in how he dressed up as such he was very casual about it and he cared more of uh, i think he was cared more about his people so he spent less time of being fancy dressed and more like, ah, I just have wear this today. Uh, let's see, Lance of Scorn. Let's see. I haven't really been using much of these uh, more advanced moves. But, okay. How do we actually throw this thing? Triple Tempests. Let's see. Cross... Why? <laughs> okay, crossover our... <clears throat> Are going between normal and special attacks but there was also something that we could throw this stupid thing probably uh, to mm -hmm. one of our attacks are shock therapy and ragnarok yeah <laughs> let's see it it i'm not remembering it wrong right that it did say something about uh <clears throat> Us being able to throw it at certain times. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea how to get out of this. Hmm. Yeah, okay, hmm. we probably need to power something somewhere else then for that to open. So we'll just have Wait. to go around and look more. You mean electricity? Electricity. There's a power box there, though. Yeah, I tried stabbing it earlier. Yeah, the, the compass is only showing us the direction in which the next sin is, not where the next up of our objectives is. So we'll have to look around for a power box or something. Yeah, and 
let's be honest. When they want you to power something, it's usually something, well, that stands Obvious. very, uh, it just stands out a lot. Yeah. So... Like a big crystal or something. Yeah, the best we can do at the moment then is just look around some. Yeah, come on, Fury. <laughs> yeah, the big question is where is this thing going to be hidden then? Because we can't attack the door, so that means that it must be really. Gold burger, taste the gold rush. Yes, you can die for gold poisoning. Thank you. Um, hmm. It reminds me of some random fact again. Uh, the, the Aztec had a unique alloy that I don't even know how to pronounce. Okay. This was uh, a bit of copper, a bit, of, a bit of tin, and a bit of gold. That sounds like, no, not rose gold. That would be a, a form of bronze. Yeah, I know it's an alloy, and they had their own unique name for it, but they actually used it for weaponry. They actually used it in combat. Remember, they did not have steel or iron. Yeah, so, it sounds like a sort of... Gold bronze. That probably would be a more specific name for it, but other than that. Yeah, it was very, it was very, always a very Aztec, like or South American, old South American style name. So, probably how to pronounce uh, if you don't hear it first. So I may look it up later. And as I remember, they did have a lot of copper, a lot of tin, and a lot of gold. Yeah, they had a lot of gold in South Africa. No, not, well, South America, not the South Africa. <laughs> yeah. How so, the hell did they? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good question. But yeah, they probably were. They didn't have the same view as the Europeans had back then. So they could consider using it in uh, weapons and armor in some degree. However, not in, not in armor per se, unless it says some decoration. Do yeah, I, because I would imagine... gold is pretty soft. Yeah, in an alloy like that, I could imagine them being quite some nasty axes they could make. But they, I think actually when the Spanish came, they actually started to mimic their halberds. Okay. With that metal, so I would imagine... Oh, oh fuck. Oh, I... Can we oh. Home from this place? The present is tiring enough without reliving the sins of the past. But someone is going to pay for what they did to that animal. They'll pay in screams. Yeah. Okay, I didn't... I didn't think he would actually die. I thought he... Well... That's the proof there. Hmm. Weird! And it, it's kind of weird, isn't it? You're playing Fury, one of the four horsemen, without a horse. Yeah, how is that going to be explained? And this is a new area. And a new enemy. And yeah, we, we know what these are. Yeah, just skeletons. Spooky, scary skeletons. Uh, wait, I got that wrong. Damn spooky, it. scary skeletons shent shivers down your spine. Yeah, I think I get skeletons from a friend that keeps saying skeletons so much that it probably infected me. Uh, probably because of the, the nightmare before Christmas. Zach Skellington. Why, Odin's beard? <laughs> so you finally realized where that came from? Yes! <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh. right. I have high IQ and all, but sometimes some things can still just slip past me. 
Uh, also, a fun little fact. Uh, with the switching between these forms, uh, yeah, it's left shoulder and B or Y, and the Y button is yellow and the B button is red, so that matches up with the corresponding elements color as well. It means the shoulder, uh, the shoulders on the controller, not her shoulders. <laughs> yeah, which if they're going to keep that up with the uh, the color coordination, oh, didn't finish this one off. And uh, hello, I guess we're fighting destroyers now. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, better hope there isn't some giant ass dragon sleeping underneath the planet here. I fought one today, thank you very much. <laughs> I almost finished the campaign on Guild Wars. I just uh, saved the final bit for tomorrow or sometime this week. Okay, no spoilers. Yeah. But yeah, if, if they're going to keep the color coordination going... Oh, oh, oh hello, that's a new one. Then Wait. I'm guessing the other two hollows will be water or frost. And the last one is green. What will that be? Earth? Earth? Of some sort? And I start to realize, are these the minions of Roth? For Roth is called Roth the Magma Lord. Hmm. Could be. Yeah. I do not like how we're just slow, slowed down through this. I know that magma is actually a really thick ass fluid and Marauder Enhancement. Uh, what will this one do then? Yeah, run button. Good question. Yeah. People like to think that lava is like a a, a fluid, but no, it's uh, very it's very thick. Okay, ten percent chance to spawn a health lurcher with this weapon, five percent item drop chance. Okay, that would be a reason to uh, use those more. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I guess this lava is probably the only thing you could actually make a stone boat on and float. Theoretically. Yeah, because it, it, it is molten metals and stone. So yeah, it might. Some people might think of it as a fluid, but no, it's it's going to be thicker as syrup, if not even thicker. And oh, we could have just yeah. skipped all of that. This definitely should mean the scene where Golem falls into lava would be more horrifying. Yeah, he'd, be, he'd just be laying on top of it, being cooked alive like an ugly hamburger. And next area is loading. Hmm. Yeah, he probably be di he might have even died before hitting it due to the heat. Yep. Or passed out due to the yeah, to, yeah due to the toxic gases and such. Oh yeah. Because, yeah, that's... <laughs> uh, anytime you see in fiction or such where people are just standing not right next to a lava flow... Impact of some kind will yeah. activate them. Not missed. Uh, whenever you see in fiction you see people standing right next to magma or such, then, uh, yeah, that's not, <laughs> that's not how it would go. Because, like I said, that... That stuff would be giving off so many toxic gases that you would suffocate before you'd even get close enough. Just if the heat wouldn't didn't cook you from just the proximity. Yeah, and the only way to get close to lava is having the correct suit. Yeah, the sort of thing that you see volcanologists use or the Mythbusters whenever they're playing with fire. Yeah. Oh dear. Sorry. Nope. And that just made me remember something else. Another fun fact of the day. There is cacti that eats lava. I think I heard something about a sea slug, or no, not a sea slug, but a type of slug that does uh, similar, that it, 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 it eats uh, heavy metals from... Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Magma and such. I know oh, that come one on. only from a thumbnail. I've not seen that episode yet, or YouTube video yet, but I've seen a bit mention of a cacti that loves to grow where lava has been flowing. Okay. That I, 
hadn't run before. I only learned it recently. I, I'm still surprised. Cacti that loves cooled down lava. Okay, now that we know that these things explode, let's uh, not stay near its corpse when it dies. And of course, yeah, it's immune to burning damage. Yeah, what about the crystal? Okay. Yeah, I was big, too pixel in for me oh, to read to know what. Oh. Hmm. Wait. I'm guessing that is for Bruce the gate. Yeah, if we knew how to throw it. Guess the game hasn't told us how. Yeah. Let's not backflip over the edge. Um. Yeah, like, yes, we saw the attacks have names, but they were not really obvious, like, speed throw. Like, yeah, the game hasn't have... given a tutorial or anything, but it does, it just mentioned that, you know, Fury could throw it. Hmm. Mm hmm. Don't think we can reach that far with a jump. I think I've seen you throw it before. Hmm. Maybe more it part of a as part of a combo. Oh come on! That was my you know, computer's driver up updater popping up all of a sudden to tell you. I mean, all of your drivers are yeah are up to date so uh, we have nothing to report then why the hell are you reporting hmm. okay i'm going to take a quick second to check how, how we're supposed to be able to throw the spear if we even can normally so because we have we have gone quite a distance now without a door <clears throat> without a ranged weapon then again the whip is very very long in its own range. Yeah, so, yeah, just the hilt alone seems to be very adaptable. Dark Shadow 3 throw spear. Let's see. Anything here? Come on, freaking age warnings. I would... I would want... I would really want... Yes, Discord, no, not Discord, Steam to stop asking that stupid question. Uh, da, 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 da. Charge it and throw it. Oh, when you do a perfect dodge, so it isn't. How the hell are we supposed to hit that then? Maybe it is the whip then. Like jump hmm. and hit? Yeah. <laughs> it was. Oh. Here, I thought I would open that up. I, I Wait, thought you, you had to hit to... those with the electric attacks. Same here. <laughs> okay. I do have to say, these watches seem a bit different. Yeah, far less of a schemer, or at least far less of an open schemer. Okay. That upgrade at our healing ability, which yeah, we actually haven't had to use in a while. Sometimes he see, seems to actually care about her. It could and possibly be because if she didn't, she'd get her own head, <laughs> head cut off. Point taken. No, it, this could actually be a rare case that. She might just be actually be your fan. Yeah. Uh, let's see. She did has, she has been snorky against her, but against other things, she actually been caring. I think we have enough for the lightning armor. Oh dear. Uh, would it really be worth it to pay twenty uh, uh, to pay twenty thousand for something that? Uh, yeah, we, we're probably not going to use that much unless there are enemies with specific energy you know, electric weaknesses. It they, pro they probably are, otherwise it should not be an option. 
So mm. it might be worthwhile. I think I... left for now we're going to just spend whatever we find I here, see. and if we if we get enough you know, soul clumps or lurker lurcher clumps to get it on that alone, we'll get it then. But for now, this is going to be a lot more useful, I think. There we go. We should probably also update our arcane damage for... I think that it is the one affecting elemental damage. Yeah, the, when we uh, dodge and such. Hmm. Yeah. Oh dear. Right, let's say... I would not be surprised if the elemental damage also means if you hit something that's weak against fire, it's gonna hurt even more. Hmm. We'll just have to see. We have a good collection of souls in storage. Yeah, souls, lurches. I'm, I'm just going to mostly prefer to them as souls because, well... <laughs> what is that? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's going to open up. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what they called them in the beginning. Of it. Uh, why this one called them lurches? Uh, lurch. Is this going to be a word I struggle with? Let's see. Small lurcher clump. Yeah, they they've been calling them lurches from the uh, from the beginning, but they basically function the same as souls and stuff in uh, in the other games. It's been souls. Uh, they look exactly like souls. Yeah. Okay, this is going to be a timed thing. Yeah, that regrows. How far does it go? We're going to need to hit both of these at around the same time. So... Um, hmm. We need to hit this one, or actually, we need to set off the fire or the, the, the web somehow. Um, and in the meantime, we run to the other one. Uh, one. She did a higher jump there. Yeah, we'll need to set it off up here. So we have the time to get over, but what do we use as a projectile then? Since, like we've been saying, Fury lacks. Actually, can we can we do that? Uh, oh, oh, I see already. Will this set it off? Yep, it will. <laughs> Dear. And there we go. Yeah, I'm guessing if Fury doesn't need projectiles since she's an unguided projector herself. These chambers seem out of place. They are old. Neither of heaven nor hell, to be sure. Early humans, perhaps. Perhaps. I'm a clever thing, mistress. But even I do not know everything. It seems our watcher has a an interest in a certain amount of interest or fascination with humans. Hmm. Oh, hello. Possibly. Oh, are we going to have to do... Yeah, we're, go <laughs> we're going to have to find swords again, just like War did. One of these are a lot smaller. All right, then. Oh, sword! Now yeah, we're going to need a smaller glowy one. And there's something in the lava down there. Probably going to need to kill that sooner or later. Oh, thank you. It goes through... Oh, I did not see you there. <laughs> I... And it got lost amongst all the other bones. 
I still haven't used many of these shards in a while. The, one, the only ones we've really been using have been the health ones. Why are the candles in here? Yep, yeah, this is going to be a big fight. Yep. <laughs> Hmm. I have to say that perhaps a bit the can't this is going a, a, this is actually going a bit too easy. Oh, oh. you're a little pest. Probably because we we didn't spend as many points. Uh, we didn't spend as many. Uh, we didn't get as many attribute points to upgrade ourselves. If we'd done that a lot more at the start, probably the rest would have been a lot easier. Possibly. And I can hear something shooting at me. Not up there. Okay, little shit. So if How do I get to you? We, we can easily change the difficulty. If it is too easy. Hmm. Well, we should at least be a bit more balanced now. For balance. Um, well, I think we only did that because we were dying way too much. Yeah. So, let's go here. And turn it back to balance. If we get our ass, if we start getting our asses kicked again, we'll just swap it back. Yeah, like, one of... Being beaten up once or twice is one thing, but we were dying a lot a while back. Yeah. Oh, this way. Okay. I'm more than you about you accidentally to kill yourself again. <laughs> I'm not again. that easy to trick. Well, that and. Well, let's face it, normally you don't want to jump in lava. Yep. Oh, another plinth. Great. This will be fun for both of us. As you uh, well for now. <laughs> that laugh. Okay, it seems that our Nephilim's respite can now hold three charges. Okay. When did that happen? Or actually, is that from one of the from one of these? Uh, no, that's extra chance to spawn one. Okay, where where's that coming from? The armor? No. Well, that's you have one weapon strange. that has no respite. Or hmm. whatever rune, no, what it's called again. Yeah, the respite is the, basically our health flask. Hmm. Okay. Might be a story upgrade? Could be. The plus one makes it seem like it's uh, hmm, from an armor or something. Or it could be from levels. Oh, oh hello. Crafted by desk. Yeah, by, yeah, by death, not by desk. <laughs> it would be a, an odd uh, uh, fifth horseman. Desk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, You're Causer of boredom. <laughs> Come on. Let's see. Crafted by death, he gave this flask to his sister as a gift long ago. Replenishes itself by absorbing life energy from fallen enemies. Though not as skilled as the makers themselves, death was an accomplished crafter in his own right. Uh, with most of the Nephilim focused on weapons of war, he endeavored to create something that gave life. When he finished, he offered the flask to Fury, whose penchant for seeking danger was well known. <laughs> They are actual siblings, those two? Hmm... I... I'm not sure if they really are by blood, but they are... They are basically a family, so more in the... Uh, yeah, chosen family way, I'd say. Well... Actually, no, if you're fair, they never call each other brothers and sisters, if I remember right. Yeah, they call each other by their... Uh, name and such, or at least their title. 
Yeah, this is just the only time they have called one each other brother and sister. This is the only time, I think. It's, sure. It, it could be they, they are related. Mm, we'll have to see. They could just beat up people from the outside, see them more as brothers and sisters. Possibly. It, it would re explain the roommate part. <laughs> Then uh, strife and war were bunked together as well, and I, I'm pretty sure that it could not have gone easy as well. <laughs> Let's see. There is almost nothing that the Seven of Fear on this or any other plane of existence. They will spread their poisonous destruction as long as they are able, with no thought given to their own preservation. But there is one thing, something that strikes terror into their rotten hearts. Captivity. Let's see, this bridge stone. For a time, the makers established and maintained many bridge stones, making travel between realms and distant lands simple for all. However, as the war raged and things grew dire, they undid their work, rendering the stone useless. And then we have this. Yeah, we already read that when we got it. Hmm. Oh, hello. Can we? Yes, we can. And uh, yeah, we are not able to use it as a weapon. But it looks a bit like a, a glow-in-the-dark version of Frostmourne. Oh no! It does not. I, I have two plastic swords in my room. That's closer to Frostmourne. Like swords. Why do I have a feeling that you see everything as a weapon? Mistress. Because she does. Because you're smarter than you look. Statue. There we go. Just needed to dance around a bit to hit them both. So, three swords total. So it seems. <laughs> it's always three, isn't it? Pardon? Three keys, three stones, three swords. Rather predictable, don't you think? Have you lost your mind? No. I just hate it when the creator takes shortcuts. <laughs> okay, oh. uh, Fury. Uh, can you stop poking the fourth wall? <laughs> <laughs> it's a being called a creator, but that, that was a hidden wall. Yeah, and this looks a lot like uh, one of the places that War actually visited during his crusade, or is going to visit. Since, again, this sort of takes place in front of both of the other games. And hello, little sneak area. Okay, thank you. And... Okay, that just leads back to the entrance of, the, of where we are, so we can just go through here again. Hmm. I have to say that this this yeah, compared to the other two, this game feels less polished. But we've already talked some about what possible causes for that, like uh, yeah, the pandemic and everything. Yeah, uh, the, though we'll have to one, double check when exactly this came out. This one came out way before the pandemic. Okay. So pandemic is not this one's issue. Hmm. No, I in guess a way, they... was it? Go... Sorry. Go ahead. What was it? But haven't all the games been sort of unpolished in some manner or form? Hmm. True. Like... We have been playing the enhanced editions, which had a lot of that, you know, a lot of the stuff polished out of it. Yeah, and this one is the one that has not had an enchanted edition yet. Yeah. Oh, big boy is getting agitated. No, so wait, I could oh, just pin that the other ones were clunky like this as well, with loading and such. Yeah, they seem to experiment with something new every time. Do this one's open world they seem to be better for Yeah, the open world as a second game seemed to cause some issues whenever you were in some hubs. 
Yeah, specifically the Maker Sports, where the FPS just tanks most of the time, I believe. Yeah. Also, this one had the option of uh, default or classic in fighting style. Um, which one are you using? Uh, the default. Uh, the more methodical one, it, I think it's named. Uh, let's see. It might yeah, be default reason... and classic. Classic would be a lot more beat em up ish. With a lot Maybe less emphasis on the dodging and such. Yeah, it might be why it feels a bit clunky to you, perhaps? Could be. It... We can't dodge as easily as the other two. Uh, even though, if I say, as I say, that I dodge three times in a row. Need to be a bit more careful that we've upped the difficulty again. And hello again, little guy. Now, where is your food? We name him George. Okay, I'm not seeing any of those hanging mouths around at the moment, actually. There they are. Fetch. <laughs> okay, we cannot reach that on our own. That much is clear. Now, what happens if we press this? That you starts to move. Would you just rocketeer? Actually, that the web could be close enough for that. Actually, no, that that web doesn't connect to anywhere we can reach. Hmm. And as much as we like <laughs> punishing that little guy, we can't actually do anything with him here. So we'll just have to find out whatever we're supposed to do. We've got a lot of adamantine slivers, so when we find when we find Volgrim again, we can upgrade our weapons again. Let me guess. Let me guess. You want him to give you Wolverine's claws, don't you? <laughs> Yeah, Fury is certainly furious enough to uh, take on the mantle. Yeah, the, so far the flayers seem weirdly enough uh, Ghost Rider inspired, even though he was more chain whip. Though when it comes to lightning, just yeah, I feel like they could not resist doing a storm reference with that pose. Yeah, or just the general name of it. And again, Storm is often used when uh, talking about electricity, or Storm or Thunder is typically what it's uh, used. Yeah, do, just that pose when someone levitates and use lightning is actually damn common. I don't know if, if Storm is one that started it, or what. And now you got it down. Oh. Yes, eat that Sarasha! Okay, we could just set that off normally. Not sure. Actually, hmm. what if that is Sriracha, that red stuff? And Sriracha is... She is rooster sauce. Uh, very hot stuff. Very I hot Thai I've... sauce. Wait, yeah, you're I not know of Szechuan sauce that the Rick and Morty fans had an obsession with for a while. I think that one, one uh, might be in reference to Sriracha. Uh, you, uh, you know the a series you've been watching? Hmm? Where the little guy just went to the fridge and pulled out a, a red flask I, rec I totally unrecognized? Um, can't really at the moment. Yeah, he, basically the, the thing he did was just drink a lot of that stuff right off and it's going to breathe fire that's basically sriracha for you yeah uh, but you um, don't you won't be fire actually, it's, it's a thai sauce sriracha i know that there is a hot sauce that is used in many places that is made in one factory in one place i believe uh, that might be the sriracha with uh, and also sashuan sauce is an actual sauce uh, uh, All right. Uh, McDonald's had a 
I've had a thing with it for a while, and that was actually what they uh, were referencing as well. Now, what are we actually supposed to do here? Oh. And yeah, so Russia is made in USA now, it used to be in Thailand, but then they moved to USA just to be closer to a farm that had the things they need. This led to a lot of issues with this city they lived, they had in, due to apparently... Apparently the scent from the factory spread to the city and caused okay, a lot yeah, of issues. I Okay, then I know it is the sauce I was thinking of. Uh, that is that specific hot sauce, and ow. Yeah, see a Russia rooster sauce. Is a is a red bottle with a rooster on. Uh, green tip. That's uh, yes. That you can actually screw uh, up and o up to open it up instead. But it has a little thingy, so you can screw it open. So you need to take off the plastic thing inside, but then just as it is a switch, open the tiny plastic lid on top of it. Uh, yeah, that is this sauce. It's a Russia mm. sauce. Yeah, I, I like that a lot. I put it on a lot of stuff actually. <laughs> oh yeah, they, I I think I actually told you the recipe what I used used to do until the pandemic came. I used it to have it in my omelets. Okay. For it, a, here's the thing. Normally people want to use whipped cream or something to make the omelets, you know, stay together a bit better. Sriracha sauce replaces all that. Just <laughs> egg, sriracha, and it will work like a pancake. <laughs> and also okay. depending on how much sriracha you use, the egg will reduce the spiciness so you can enjoy the flavor a bit more. Again, depending on how much you use. And you don't need to use much. I and it's probably the e easiest time I have made omelets ever. Yeah, I, I put it basically on anything. Wait, what's uh, that? what did I say? I, I, I put it on basically anything. Like uh, breads with... Uh, yeah, not everything with bread, but, but uh, bread with liverwurst, uh, yeah, peanut butter, basically anything to add more spice to it. Same, but with moderation for me. Do I can rec still recommend it. Just take a cup, two eggs, squirt some uh, sriracha sauce, mix it up pr properly, pour it in a pan and just, just watch magic happen. Okay, there we go. That is why the second layer of webbing was there. So we'd have enough time to get here. And the bug just acted as, well, a catalyst. Uh, pardon? Pardon? Uh, what's with the bugs? Do they actually attack you? Let, let's actually look. I think they've tried. Or is this just a case of, uh, I think, I, I think it likes Fury's hair. <laughs> it's being attracted like a freaking bug zapper. Speaking of zapper. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, so mean. Hmm. Uh. Uh, come on, come on, try and hit me. Yep, uh, it would help a lot better if I... I keep dancing too early with this, huh? Then when I need to dodge, I can't because it's on cooldown. Hey there. It's kind of fun fact. I used to be horrible at dodging. I still sort of am, but not as much. I think, thanks to Gears 2, I got better at dodging. Where do we need to go here? Hmm. I, think I, I think actually that in many games where dodging was an option, I just usually just went so much specking all the health just to be able to tank the damage because I was so horrible at dodging. Yeah, it, it can it can differ per game 
but you yeah, but it's actually better. Hmm. And then we need to hit this one. Yeah, I think Heroes 2 gave me a better chance to oh, learn hello. better. Do there are many fighters here like in Heroes 2 they are just looking at the wonder why only two dodges before you need to reload? When they obviously yeah. some fights need uh, like ten. Okay, I like how that Fury actually uses it to fight for a bit. She can nice. Part of me now wants and her to to have one of these permanently at some point. Well, but for now we need to sacrifice it. She, she has a bladed whip. She has a flails. She has a lance. So she might get a sword. Maybe we'll just have to see. Uh, what yeah, would, what sort of weapon type would fit with a water or ice theme? A, a, a blade, I'm guessing. Yeah, for we, re, we already had a lance for the lightning, so yeah. water and ice would be. Well, would expect trident, but blade, like a saber or something, could work. Yeah, we already have something to poke with. So yeah, a sword would actually make sense for her to get with the ice element. Yeah, then the question would be, what the heck would the lost element be if it is indeed earth? A uh, hammer? Uh, possibly. Because <laughs> that is the stereotypical earth uh, or stone weapon. <laughs> yeah, especially since we're already using flail. Sapphire, and that's usually a earth related weapon. Uh, oh gosh, yeah. it makes me remember Mystic Knights. I've heard of that show, I don't think I've ever seen anything of it. It's good. Yeah. This is going and to be such a fight. The Knight of Earth has a flail, uh, he spins it, he, sh he launches boulders. A bunch of father enemies. Where's the big boys? Infidel! I kill you! <laughs> uh, I'm not seeing Jeff Dunham here. So, uh, no, uh, <laughs> Ahmed. <laughs> Ahmed was his name, I think. Oh god, oh god, I remember not. I have, I have many flashbacks today. I remember back my my walk uh, days, someone made a parody of uh, Ahmed. Oh? Rockmed the Undead Tourist. <laughs> Sounds less threatening, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, come on, you little no. shit. Actually, uh, I, hope, I hope that it actually becomes a thing. Rockmed the Undead Tourist. I think that there's a bunch of comedy potential there. Oh, that's turning that. Mm, we can't go any other way, it seems. All right. And uh, yeah, we <laughs> we're losing a lot more health now. Yeah. Not regretting changing the difficulty. No, because we haven't died again so far, and we do have a more skeleton. charges. Huh? Never even break a sweat against skeletons. Um... There we go. We don't even have to attack to set that thing off, because the jump launches a few fireballs as well. Yeah. Okay, I recognize the sword is definitely not Frostmourne. Frostmourne does not have that broad of a blade. <laughs> it looks okay. like something... another sword, though. Yeah, what would what would this type be classified as? It Great sword, a stereotypical, not accurate great sword. Yeah, definitely not a claymore. Because a claymore is a lot thinner, I believe. Yeah, claymore is a true great sword. Just yeah, people just want the great great swords even greater. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be a platform. Oh dear. Uh, 
Oh, okay, I just remember something from the Netherlands when it comes to great swords. Oh, oh, oh motherfucker. Uh, yeah. Apparently, there was a someone, a, a person in the Netherlands that was so huge, so they had to make an make a extra large great sword for him. I. I know of who you're talking about. I don't know their name, but there was a a small game made with them <laughs> starring it, and oh, we could heck. probably give that a bit. Yeah, I believe it was called Cross of the Dutchman. If it if it you can play it without it be in Dutch, then sure. Yeah, there, how it, there big is was a, this sword? <laughs> uh, I don't know, but pretty freaking big, probably. Yeah, the, um, my brain wanna see it free meat for some reason. Uh, we can check on that later. And, oh, no ladder. I, I no know. Need. I do know there's a song. I know there's a song about him that I actually have on my CDs from Hey Walk. They actually made a song about him. Mistress, easy. Do you hear it? This is not what we seek. Let us carry on. Wait. The Maker. You owe him nothing. I know. I want him to owe me. Why is it... Easy, child. Easy. I can lead you to others like you. Humans. This is an ambush. Yep. Okay. It's done by children. Not many games dare to go there these days. See, the body. I, I was thinking of dead knights. Hmm. And I've, I've been I've been viewing some stuff on uh, the Evil Dead series again recently because there's a new game of that coming out, similar to uh, like uh, Dead by Daylight. And uh, Friday, that's Friday the 13th game, only where you can actually defend yourself. And I don't think there's ever been child deadites in that. Again, I've only ever seen the third movie, Army of Darkness. Oh, you poor thing. I, I, say, I see the first one, the remake, and the third one, but I've never been able to watch the second one. And it annoys me. I've been close many times. Like, I see like bits of it, but then I have to go away or something and miss it. <laughs> and I've not been lucky to find it uh, shown somewhere. But actually, I think I've seen the third one being on Netflix, so maybe they had a second one there as well. Good chance. We actually have. We actually own a copy of Army of Darkness. I think I bought that at some point. I I and did as well. I did as well. <laughs> Where? Oh, there's the it's chain a the, swing. It, it, it's 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 a example. Normally, when people talk about talk about sequels, usually the first movie is the best. But when it comes to the Evil Dead series, the best one is the third. <laughs> All right. This way. Yeah, I'm, I don't also, think I have too much interest in seeing the first two because I'm not. Oh, I'm not big into horror movies, anyways. I can say this: the, the second one, the third ones, are apparently the most favorable one for them who horror comedy. So you might like the third, the, the second one. Okay, uh, I I have seen the third one, like I said, and I did enjoy it. Yeah, the second one is more towards, more similar to the fir uh, third one. At least it goes towards that area more, as I understand it. Dear horror, but more. Is that where the horror comedy comes out more? Alright. So, you might like it then. Please. At least that's what I understand from others, people talk about it. So these are the gnarled cliffs, I'm guessing? Or... Where oh, are we actually with this? Oh, so there's also this series that's damn good. I'd heard of that, I but I haven't actually seen it. I, I seen first the second one. I need to see the third one. They sadly cancel it, but there's still, at least the third one is out. It is good. Mm. To, here's the thing. When you do 
watch one season, you do need a break before watching the second one and third one. All right. Oh, they are good, but also time they have things that makes you wanna. I'm awesome, but I think I need something more pleasant to watch after this. <laughs> I, I guess that is kind of like when people read the HP Lovecraft stories. You don't read two, three stories in a row. Yeah, because there is some heavy literature. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Literally and figuratively, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, there's something similar to that. Just, just uh, there is so much to process from laughter and just other things. I will not spoil. Mm. Uh, yeah, Do you can probably all... find the second movie on Netflix. Well, I hope so. Aiming to lay down a mighty heart tower. Mighty hurts. <laughs> okay, let's upgrade it to I fragments of elementing. Can I still wonder if we need to upgrade the other weapons as well? Yeah, we can't use these slivers anymore on the, the barbs, so might as well put them here. Also, it seems when I look yeah. down a bit, the uh, model very easily goes into an uh, angry expression, so yeah, I really need to find a way to f just calibrate this stuff better. You sure you're not trying to mimic uh, Ulfane here? <laughs> and also, yeah, no. I wonder, can I balance a mug on his head? <laughs> Easily, probably. <laughs> he probably Let's get see. angry. Chance to spawn a health lurcher. Item drop chance. Hmm. Item drop chance would probably be more useful if this had been like a Darksiders 2, since, yeah, Death plays a lot more like an art action RPG with uh, different types of loot. Here it's more stuff that will, that will get dropped, but it will probably never get used. So let's go the upper route here. Yeah, it, it's kind of shame, actually. Though I guess they, they realized uh, how much work it is to make so many armor weapon pieces. Yeah. I'm not trying to say that this game is bad in comparison to others, it just plays different. Yeah, then again, all the game plays different for each other. Yep. Or at least they have a different structure to them, you could say. Greeting. This will be okay, feed his habits. As you wish. Yeah, this fury is such an enabler, isn't she? Please Wait, what? Uh oh. Now I get it. <laughs> Enabling his bad habits. <sighs> Someone getting bumped. And we could probably add... You can add sort of emotes or prop actions with VC face. I'll have to figure out how to still. Uh, there is someone I know who does that, but they are on a hiatus. Uh, or did I even say that right in the English accent? <laughs> I think you did. Hiatus. Uh, hiatus. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here's the thing. I know the word, but I I think that's the first time I ever said it. <laughs> Wait, well, well. Okay, grenades. We finally... We finally meet... Get close to those to walls we seen uh, elsewhere. Yeah. And nope, we can't climb them like this, so we're probably going to need an earth hollow for that. Oop. Are they some sort of imps? Good chance. Then again, some people would call all children imps. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, there are some people that don't, don't like children at all. And I'll be honest, I'm sort of one of those. Oh, hello. You're getting a spanking. I'm 
I'm not do for me it depends highly more on the child. Yeah, if they're well behaved and we're not. Exactly, so I I will never identify my as a someone who dislikes children, so I just this Basically if you misbehave and behave like an ours, then I will dislike you. Yeah. Simple as that. Return in kind what you receive. Be yeah. that kindness or be that Trip wires. <laughs> We've had enough of trip wires from Dishonored 2. Thank you very much. Since these foul brats don't want us here. Oh, he's naked. Yeah, these are more like a sort of ghouls. Wait. Oh. Tiny you. ghouls. <laughs> that sounds like a, a, a name for a. A Saturday morning cartoon show, Tiny Ghouls. <laughs> okay, my brain tells me that lure. is a thing, but I don't trust my brain at the moment. Though it does remind me of a thing the Crypt Creek Keeper were reading once uh, on a show. Yeah. Let's see. It was there's a magazine called Play Ghouls. I don't think I need to explain what that uh, was a parody of. Yeah. I think I still. I'm trying not to gag at the moment. Um. Yeah, I'm so fascinated by the big ass <laughs> dino skeleton that I walk into one of the trip wires. I'm surprised that it's still standing. Yeah. Oh, okay, that did a lot of damage. We are not dying to a bunch of playtime parodies. Oh, day. And. Why? How has that still able to survive? Because it. Wait, it has even moss in its. Yeah, that's probably grown there from just. Time passing and such. What is that? Uh, it, it looks like a Rex. It is a Rex. Do I think it's supersized? Yeah. <laughs> do okay. is the only one standing while everything has been looted. Like, do they worship it? Or they've been uh, trying to figure out how to resurrect it. I think we are just entering this museum area, so there could be more things inside. Oh, and I can hear slight singing in the background. <laughs> it set up its own trap. Get back here. Okay, are we going to end up destroying this thing accidentally? Quote unquote, accidentally. Better not. Oh, oh, I see what we're going to do. We're going to swing onto it. I was about to ask, what if I... Oh, come on! What if I land on one of these stupid trip wires and then I want to walk into one? That is a lot of damage. A clap for your fail. <laughs> Wait, was my clap able to be heard? Nope. I didn't Wait, get him at it, least. I'm afraid my mic will ignore claps of any kind. If it only focus on my voice. Your chance. This is probably just good. Hmm. I'm curious, what is the story with these things? Are these just some sort of demon masquerading as children, or are they actually zombified uh, children? Well, he said that they are not children, so they might be just using it as a disguise for. Actually, there are mainly folklore about the beings that tricks you to think it's a child. Well, I uh, mean, it's not a child at all.
Yeah, that's pretty much global in mythology. Yeah, it can be various forms, but yeah. They, they, they are probably some form of imp or goblin or kobold even. Maybe, and this is taking a bit of time to load, just as I almost finished that sentence. I guess this Maybe. is the method of doing open world more smoother compared to uh, the second game. I think... I think... Oh. I don't actually remember now. Okay, I see what they are throwing now. Yeah, pipe bombs or something. Actually, yeah, they are throwing some, something that looks like TNT. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and of course, there's some. Oh. It's actually a speaker going off now. Informational speaker about this thing. Uh, oh, <laughs> what the hell is that? But that's for, for a part of the recording. He, I hope I misheard him. I think he said it was 15 meters tall or something, or 15 feet tall. I, I didn't hear. I just know. I just heard some fragments. Right. We're headed this way. Yeah, I'm a bit unsure what I heard, but I think I heard it talk about the... Le oh, you guys again. Okay, let's deal with the little shit first. Yep. And immediately I get caught up. Too early. And at least we can take it a lot better now when we miss, because we deal more damage and we have more health. Uh, speaking of, I think we actually have an attribute point still. Um, let's put that into health. Let's get that to 10 first, and then we'll see what we else will be putting points in. Probably physical. Okay, stupid thing set off the wire, the, the trip wire. I almost said wire trip. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing these are some sort of ghouls similar to Dark Messiah where they where evil spirits have possessed the corpse of a child or something or the living body of a child maybe but at the same time the proportions are off what manner of horde do we have here Mistress, Greed. your talisman be wary Greed oh. is going to be here. Wait, are they minions of greed? Good chance. The bugs were minions of sloth. And envy is well too envious to have minions. Okay, just head it this way to look for extras, which we've obviously found. We're out of place here. Hmm. And this is where, yeah, this is where we get that thing that we saw earlier. After, yeah, we'll grab this and then we'll head towards Greed. Yep. Oh, now, we're, now let's see. Uh, envy, Pride, Wrath, uh, Sloth, Lust, Greed, and... Pride. Yeah, pride, and what's that, Six? Lust, uh, <coughs> Lust, Greed, Envy... Sloth, Pride, and Wrath, and then the seventh, the seventh, I just had it on the tip of my tongue, would be, would be, which one Gluttony? would that be? Gluttony, yeah, Gluttony? that's the one. That is, that is probably going to be number seven. And we have a shortcut. And again, Fury is just too above it all to actually use her freaking hands. <laughs> Okay, we crawl back, back, yeah, crawl back through here, and then we'll see uh, how greed looks. 
Yeah, actually, a, a theory. The reason I use a magic way to open it like that is because she might not want to break it when she, if she use her own an actual hand. <laughs> Good point, actually. <laughs> Oop, that's not fall down. And yeah, let's grab this, and then we're headed back. Just another one of these. Hmm. One of the complaints I could say I did have about uh, the loot system in Dark in, da in Dark Souls 2 is that oftentimes you just found stuff that you could not have that was completely useless besides selling it or breaking it down or actually I don't think there was a system to break things down but here it's just yeah little uh, little things that we don't use much if at all yeah no, in all the game instead of breaking it down you you just use it as a sacrifice for another weapon. True. Which was pretty nice. And here. Okay, this probably was a new. way to deal with the junk. Let's let's, let's upgrade our rejuvenation thing. Yeah, our, the respite. I'm guessing this one is a bit more mixed of the first and second one. Let's see. Trying to find a bit, bit of middle ground. And then one of these. Okay. What would you ask? Take your time. Not so I keep pressing the wrong things. And then we buy this. I knew you couldn't resist. As okay. you wish. Now the phylactery will heal 300 health. And yeah. Wait. It, These are the me not you see him stuff. Yep. So that's where the shelves were empty. There wasn't much that the humans got right. But they did no art. What? Frankly, I think it's one of the reasons that the angels were so jealous of them. Have you ever seen one of those birds paint? You're talking about art. Now, here. It's a museum. Well, certainly, we have our mission. I'm just what? saying. <laughs> Some of you have no appreciation of the finer things in life. Avarice. Fear. <laughs> Welcome to my hall of treasure. <sighs> Unfortunately, you forgot to pay the entrance fee. Your life. Take it if you dare, wretch! Okay, Everest. Basically, it's just a, a fancier word for greeds. Yeah, it, he looks it's like a demonic goblin. Okay, so yeah, this, don't think his face were his minions. Yeah, he's just a freaking gremlin. Okay, do I need to... Can I break these? No, I cannot. Ow. Oh, let's see. It. Yeah, it makes sense that <laughs> the greedy one would be a freaking gremlin. I, I can't tell if this is Mark Hamill as the voice actor or not. He sounds a little bit like him, but not enough. Could be that he's trying to hide his... Yeah, I, I don't think it is Mark Hamill. I'm not sure if he would even return to this series after he'd already been in it. And all this investigate. Off the Actually, stream, though. Yeah. Uh, let's do this because we should be able to counter attack these if we. Not too early. There we go. We don't have to wait for the entire animation to finish. There we Yeah. 
It's just he just needs to sit still for a second, which he's not. Okay. Wait, the body's in his back. Okay, he's an extreme collector. Uh, he's the living embodiment of free and collection. Oh. Oh, really? <laughs> in your freaking cabinet. <laughs> Let's heal up a bit. Halfway there. Yep. And now he's using a freaking skull. A demon skull, even. Can we break that thing? It, it's shiny for some reason. And actually... There we go. This will heal us up a good bit. <laughs> He's coming at us with the freaking kitchen fridge. <laughs> Ooh, school one attack. Ow. I just ate all of those hits. Holy. Uh, but now, now it looks like gold for everyone. Uh, Okay, almost. Um, go, oh, come on. <laughs> Literally one hit away. <laughs> that, uh. Oh, bloody heck, Helion. Uh. See? Yeah, that, that is why I, I, I should have bought one of those undying shards. Oh. At least the respite has been refilled. I mean, yeah, this is basically okay, just I wasted time here. I recognize the voice actor. Hmm? Oh. I just don't know the name. But do I feel like I heard the, the, the voice acting before? I'm just, I'm just going to try and focus a lot more on dodging and counter-attacking than full-out attacking. And I'm ready, he's retreating up there. Okay, he's going to be annoying to fight. He's, he is the boss version of Treasure Goblins. Come on, I dodged there. See? Yeah, I'm just going to focus... Actually, I have enough fury for going into... For using Wrath attacks when he next comes down. Oh, come on. Yeah, I really, I really can't tell if it's Mark Hamill or a Mark Hamill-like voice actor. So why is the object that he's wielding here glowing like that? That's supposed to be a bit more of a tell of when he's going to attack with them, or does it mean that they can be broken or something? 
But they are breaking apart. Yeah, but more from him using them. Oh, hello, did we interrupt him? I think you did. There we go. Not the dodge this time, and not on that. Heal up. Okay, we've got him this time, I think. Yep. It takes longer with that than you actually than I actually think. Uh, that comes out a lot faster. Yep. Okay, out of caution using that. Yeah, I was just to recommend that. Come up. And there we go. Is all of that going in there with him as well? Okay, then. <laughs> he's going to get at least some of his collection. <laughs> and yeah, there's corpses in that bag as well. Who needs a museum when you can carry a collection in this? Oh, Philistine. <laughs> okay. You break everything. But actually, yeah, plenty to survive. Much of this is not ours. Yeah. There's some more of... here, yes, but. A lot of junk as well. Yeah, and antiques, I guess. Like, we saw the fridge. <laughs> Yeah, like the 1930s-ish fridge or something. <laughs> That's a big-ass bust. It looks familiar. Hmm. Not to me, at least. See, okay. genetic artifact, that is actually useful. Since we yeah, need those. No. Now we know why every other museum shelf was cl picked clean. Yeah. yeah. It does make sense for the greedy one to be stuck. Uh, to be your reputation oh. precedes you, horseman. The crucible is buzzing, and Targon wishes to meet the warrior behind the words. How flattering. You may flatter him with a visit in turn. Did next challenge. Not that we have much interest in what that. Should I kinda curious? This will be fun Or if it means more you. souls. Hmm. Or could get some more, more <laughs> Indeed more upgrades or something else it could give us that might help us uh, a lot. Yeah, let's see, we've already done all of that. So now we go right here again and see where that other area leads us. And it is actually where the compass is pointing us as well. I guess that we have, we've also learned now that the compass will point to the next sin and the shortest possible route, even if that route is blocked off currently. And yeah, this, this is just where the little gremlins were throwing shit down at us. Speaking of... Okay, then we're out of new areas, I think. And the Hollow King hasn't dragged us over again, so I'm guessing we are not getting our next upgrade just yet. And we've well, been here. Hmm. Let's see, that is... We've got Envy, we've got Sloth, we've got... Uh, Avarice? Avarice? That mean... 
Was this our third one or fourth one? Hmm. Envy, uh, we fought Rast, we met Pride. So Envy, Sloth, and Avarice. I, Otherwise we play and Sloth. I'm, I'm, com I'm completely blind on if we have a fourth, if this was number three or four. Well, you have killed Sloth, you killed Envy, you just killed Avarice, you fought Raw. We met Pride, so yeah, I, th I think that was number three. Uh, if it was number four, then number three was pretty unremarkable then, I think. Well, you did jump with your bladed, uh, with the blade in your back against his face. Yeah, but that didn't kill him because he didn't, he isn't independent, whatever we call it. Okay, we'll, we'll just have to see. Yeah, I think that was Ooh. number three that we captured in our <laughs> magic Pokeball. Oh yeah, we didn't capture him. We only yeah. wounded him. And there's George again, along with his bigger brother. Oh, oh hello, you start throwing shit now, huh? Okay, what are we going to have to do to unlock our next power? Maybe it's, it is the Crucible. For why yeah. is it this called blue? A, I believe that the color uh, means the distance to it. Of course. How powerful they are, I don't, I don't know. But the Crucible sounds a lot more like extra stuff. If it was forced, we if it was required content, we would have been forced towards there already. Point taken. Hmm. Now then, where? Is this next one... Wait, is that pointing us right back now again? No. Okay, yeah, the, the compass is a bit off here and there, it seems. Or a bit unclear. But still, let's just get out of this hellhole. A good reason why. Hmm. Oh, come on. I heard something... Oh, flying ones again. We can just ignore them. And I think this is leading us back... Yeah, this is headed back towards the haven. So we could have probably just teleported to there. Once again, a map really would have been nice to just be able to skip all of this backtracking. Yes. We don't have any abilities to unlock new areas, so we, hmm. we should have generally yeah. been able to get wherever we need to go next already. Yep, straight yeah, to the... I'm no. confused there. Okay, that's a lot of angry behind us. Oh, hello there. And loading. I don't think we've gone in there before. Let's see then. What is here? Don't or... eat the mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, I, I like mushrooms raw, but not uh, the glowing type. Did it make uh, your teeth glow? 
Nope. In general, I think it's just a bad idea to eat anything that glows or has a face on it. Yeah. Actually, just remember some of you. I have many flashbacks. As a kid, we had a buffing hole we went through, and there was a huge mushroom, kind of like those we saw there now. And of course, now I left alone. But my twin, he picked it up, and when I was not looking, he threw it at my back while I was swimming. <laughs> and it felt disgusting. Okay, that's that dealt with. We should probably use Fury a lot. No, Fury's Wrath a lot more. Almost said Fury's Fury. Well, you will not be wrong. Not sure if we've been this way before. Actually, yes, we have been this way before. Okay, and what is different? Or actually, what can we do different? Range attackers are really going to be a freaking pain in the ass. Okay. Okay, now we're getting some music. And it's gone. Yep. Just as Oliver Hells is gone. Bloody heck. Yo, come are, on. Are you sure yep. you don't want to lower the difficulty? Uh, maybe in a bit. Get distance. Get healed. And get even. Wait. Okay. Do these guys have beaks? No, uh, this one has wings at least. Wait, are these envious minions? Uh, they would fit the description somewhat. Oh. But I think these are just more generic demons. And again, we haven't fake, we haven't fought any angels, and we still need to find out who the fuck uh, took out Rampage. We are here again. We know for certain that there one of these is going to try and jump us. So, yep, there we go. This demo is ready for you, motherfucker. Okay, they won't caught me because I didn't think he was actually going to jump out. <laughs> I already hit his cocoon. Last one. Wait, is it? It's pointing us towards pride, isn't it? Yep, it's pointing us towards pride. But I'm not Pretty actually... Big. not getting anything on the other sins. Hmm. Wait. Yeah, okay, it's, it's not prideful. Yeah, it's pointing back up again. I don't think we actually went down here. It can't be pride. We can't face pride just yet. Yeah, we haven't been down here before, but even though we opened up the entrance. Uh, oh no, they're alive. Okay, we might low we might lo lower it back down again just because these arches are a fucking pain in the ass. It's, they just deal an unreasonable amount of damage, I'd say, for how freaking annoying they are to get to. Uh. Yeah, 
There. Like, seriously, each of those hits was like a sixth of our health or something. And then there's three of them in the same room, and they can attack out of out of pattern with each other. So you, you dodge one, then you get hit by the other, then the other ones get their hits in while you're stunned. Yeah, that, that is... And we have yeah, that... upgraded our health by a lot. <sighs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that if we look on TV tropes for this game under demonic spiders, we'll find these peasants. Uh, you know, and the demonic spiders thing is basically you know, enemies that a lot of players just absolutely hate to fight against because of X reason or such. Oh. Like being able to damage you heavily from afar without you getting being able to get close efficiently. Go. Oh, oh, come on. It also, it also seems a bit like the health bars are a bit off every now and then, because I'm pretty sure that that guy's health bar was empty. And still, he was standing. I mean, just one point, uh, health point. Hmm. I mean, he was still taking burning damage, so it wasn't exactly one point, but still enough to be a, a nuisance. Okay, what do we find down here? Rock, That's... flowers, compass... moss, mistress, cocoon. You seem distracted. We horsemen are defined by a great many things: our mission, our gifts, and our solitude. For so long, I cannot even remember. Rampage was my only companion. Mistress, I... Forget it. The horseman is not defined by the horse. Hmm. Um... Yeah, it's clear that for Fury, it very much was for a good part, at least. Let's see. Okay, we can get back up from here. But it was... We did see she was very close to the horse. Yeah. Hmm. It does beg the question, who... Who did attack and kill a Rampage, and why? Yeah. And the question is, was it the angels, or just demons using angel weapons as framing? Or a third party. Yeah. Hmm. I think to actually make progress to where we need to go, we probably need to uh, cross those gust, uh, those uh, wind tunnels, ahead, oh, or not? What is that? Probably something new to kill. Okay. Well, I stand don't corrected. We need to go this way. Yeah, don't eat it, Ilian. Don't eat it. Oh, they're adorable. In what realm is this considered adorable? Perhaps that's an overstatement, but it is innocent. Nothing in this world is innocent. Can I push you around or anything? Oh, hello. I... <laughs> okay. Hmm. I'm going to need to lure you to this to progress. Ah, uh, Mansk. Can I just... Yes, I can just shove you around. <laughs> you start bouncing. Okay, I would not want to touch any of these things. But we can at least use them to continue on. At least your adorable monster served a purpose. Harsh, even for you, mistress. Yeah, it it would take a demon to call something like that cute. 
who are adorable. They don't show what the, the watches are. Yeah, definitely some sort of. Oh, hello. Something some sort of than... demon or something. I suspect of something more older than angel and demons. Hmm. But angel yep. and demons seem to not like them. <laughs> yeah. It's probably something in uh, a comic because there there were a few Dark Shadows comics. I'm not sure if there were any books. But it's probably explained somewhere. And seeing a lot of purple stuff. I can see myself watching Dark Side lore videos at some point. Just I've been avoiding it due to well, spoiler reasons. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah. Because not all of those lore videos give spoiler warnings. And I'm pretty sure it's hard to not spoil when it comes to uh, these kind of games where the, the lore might be limited. Yeah. The Bonelands. Okay. This certainly wasn't visible from up there. And loading. Ugh. Mm. They're taking a moment to stretch my arms a bit. Good idea, we'll do as well. And uh. grab some water. Uh, oh no, how about water? Mm. Now there's plenty here, but I don't think you'll like it. Why? Now bone lands. <laughs> there's uh, definitely oh. something dead in there. Oh, okay, here I was wondering, wait, what has he done with his own water? And again, I'm guessing nothing new. Nothing new. He does have one of these again. Then again, we won't get any more use out of those. Unless we upgrade our health to the point that we could fill our it could fill us up completely again or ba basically at the moment it heals for this thing heals for 300 so we need to be at 60 health for it to have the full effect this nope. trek would be much easier on horseback too soon again you're here to watch not to speak oh I'm here for much more than that. Is dying on your agenda? A threat. I haven't decided. Jane, what are these? Just waterlogged zombies or something more? Oh, hello there. Uh, hello. Uh, the Warhammer lizards are looking their chair back. <laughs> Actually, this looks a hell of a lot like that, bo that one of the bosses. It definitely, even with the, the... Yeah. Okay. What the heck? What the... This is a... This is basically a reskin of that uh, librarian. Uh, that librarian off? boss. From oh, the yeah, Dark the Sons librarian two. from the last game. Wait. Uh, uh. Are these undead demons and angels? Hmm. Would not be surprised. Hmm. No, we we have we have seen we have seen corrupted angels, I believe at the very least. And we have seen death angels as well that got corrupted, but these are more of undead angels. Hmm. Or fallen angels. Okay, I do not like that they have specific range attack units and hello there. Wait, we recognize you as well. You are... You're one of the liches, aren't you? 
or the necromancers or something at least. Oh. Actually, no, those had those floated more. The, this one was standing. Yeah, with a lantern. Hmm. Were they ferrymen? Hmm. Not sure, Wait, but I, I must this... say. Go ahead. Is this a river sticks? Yeah, I find that doubtful. Hmm. But I am a bit disappointed to find an enemy that is a basically a reskin of a previous uh, game's boss. There is a weaker version of it. I don't think I would mind it much. As long as they are a bit... Uh, they're not as hard as the original. True, and... Hopefully they don't appear too much. But yeah, that was basically just a, a downsized and reskinned version of that boss that death faced. Yeah, do, at least he didn't use a share though. Yeah, but he did. It was in the uh, the Angel City at the end of it, before we fought Another the... Uh... <laughs> On the contrary, uh, it may prove useful. Before we fought the big angel guy that was the... Uh, the, the boss at the end of the angel area. Which was also in a chair and the librarian type-ish. I, I thought he just ran around. Nope, he was floating around in his own fat little chair. Hmm. Wait, he it also had... What if he was one of those type of angels that he turned, he got turned undead? Which could explain it. Hmm. Maybe, but that that boss was corrupted, not zombified. Yeah, just mean that uh, it could be in a uh, yeah a version uh, that got uh, turned undead. So, just a damn strange coincidence. It also has the same belly thing. Yeah, that's not a. Coincidence, that's just the. Yeah, from it being reskinned. I don't know why that particularly annoys me, but. It does. Wait, did. Did you get annoyed on that boss fight? I think it was pretty easy. But we, ha we have seen. We have seen reskins in this game, but it was mostly. Uh, similar types of enemies in different areas, but it it stings a bit more when they re you know, when they reskin and reuse a, a full on boss. Make it a v much weaker version of the boss. Yeah, it it feels lazy. What would you ask of this? This will be fun. For Shut up, you. I'm not sure how to fully explain it. Take your time. And again, uh, nothing I, new. I, I usually don't mind reskins as such. Depend on the situation, of course. And there yeah, we, we did. I didn't complain about any of the minor enemies as reskins in the previous games. But yeah, it just feels a bit different when they've reskinned a bo and reused a boss. Nice. Oh. Okay, so now we're finally getting to meet some uh, angels. Hmm. So I'm keeping a bit of an eye. Oh, keeping an eye on the task manager. This game is using up 100% of the CPU, but. The graphics card is only at about 50% and not making any noticeable noise or anything. For some reason my huh. GPU has been very noisy recently. No, I don't think we want to walk into that. So... Hmm. Actually, let me put this thing off. 
Okay, now it's just running, it's just making its normal amount of uh, sound. Hmm. Now then, you there? You're going to be a platform. I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. No, not what? you. <laughs> oh. oh, all right. I get, uh, uh, go over here then. And one of my timers is going off and the other one says we only have like 10 seconds left. <laughs> So, yeah, I guess we'll be meeting with, or we'll be interrogating the angels next time then. <laughs> Let's at first get this thing into position. And if there isn't a cutscene right after this, we'll, no, we'll call it there then. You're so mean to the thing. Extinguished again. So is there anything underneath here? Probably not. No, it's not even deep enough to die. Okay. And... Any cutscene? No. Nope. Uh, uh, oh, hello there. What, are you an undead griffin? Uh, yeah, let's finish this thing off first. I think it might be undead for. Yeah, undead is has missing had a lot of wings. The undead in this franchise have had a big deal with, uh, yeah, green, yeah, dark green like colors. But okay. Okay, nice to also extinguish when going on through waterfalls, not just going into water. They, they did pay a, a lot of attention to the details. True. I, I can also say that the graphics in this game are also a, a bit up, even with the, the complaints we've had about the uh, models here and there. Uh, I also thought they would be well done so far. True. There again, I've never seen any models I had a complaint about in this game series. <clears throat> Get, yeah, more it, the uh, jerkiness in some cutscenes, I meant. That they can up yeah, yeah. the jolting. Okay, yeah. yeah, jerkiness is another thing, though. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I have to say, so we have been, we've had less to talk about in the is in this game than the previous ones, but that's also probably because we... Um, there's a lot less lore or such to try and decipher so far. Hmm. Only because we've been learning a lot of them, uh, most of it, from the beginning of the other two games. True. So, we might learn more sooner or later, or those will be surprised. Yeah, still, again, not a bad game so far. Like, I am getting frustrated at some points with the, the ranged enemies and such, but those are just minor issues that, you know, we're changing the difficulty down to save my own frustration and to not get stuck on places because of such stuff. At least we can change the difficulty to solve it. Yeah, pretty sure we couldn't do that in the previous games. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, so, yeah. I'll, I'll, tomorrow I'll try to experiment around a bit with my older camera, see how that does if I put it in the middle, uh, in front of myself, if that'll help with the face tracking uh, and the expression stuff. Uh, there is also there's some uh, a site that's supposed to help a lot with uh, face tracking and uh, e even allows hand tracking. Uh, without having to actually pay for stuff, because uh, apparently there is some way, there is a way for to get your hands tracked with the current program I'm using VC Face, but you need to buy a very expensive uh, motion sensor for that. And yeah, I, I'm not pl really planning on doing that. I, I'm willing to spend some to improve the quality of this stuff, but not like yeah, 300 you know, euros and stuff. At least yeah. not in one purchase. So yeah, I'll do uh, some experimenting. Uh, I'll, I'll, I've been, <clears throat> I've been thinking about uh, trying. You know, 
Uh, what is the wording? I've been thinking about uh, trying to get an upgrade for your avatar, your, your PNG avatar in the streams. Uh, apparently a lot of... It's been you know, very frequent recently on Twitter that uh, artists offer to uh, put a random draw up to uh, yeah have someone's uh, PNG avatar upgraded in their style, or at least drawn in their style. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about... Uh, yeah putting your avatar up for that. Would you be okay with uh, it possibly being changed? I'd probably be okay with it, Do Would it still be a lizard with a helmet? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think people would really mostly get used to that by now. Yeah, it would just be drawn differently. It, it of, of course, presented to you if uh, your avatar gets pulled at some point. And it'll be up to you if to use the new one or the old one still. Right. Okay. Uh, we didn't but need besides to see that, it first. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'll, I'll of course show it to you. It's not like I'll have you blindly choose between what you know and what you don't. <laughs> Either way. So yeah, we. From today on, we should be back on schedule, unless things are going to start screwing things up. Uh, but there is something I have a bit of an announcement for. I probably should have put this at the start of the stream, but I, yeah, I should have forgot amongst the, the preparations and such. But starting in May, I'll be starting with a new job, which could affect the stream schedule. So throughout April, we'll still be able to stream as usual, but come May, uh, there may be fluct there may be a full on change or just fluctuations. Right. But we'll have to see when that day comes, of course. So yeah. Until then, thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you especially as always, Drakir. Oh you're most welcome as always, my friend. <laughs> and yeah. Thursdays we'll be continuing with this. And yeah, Saturday, more Monkey Island. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> uh, again, thanks for watching, and until then, until then. Uh, have a nice day, and until then. <laughs> Be safe, folks, and watch out for pigeons. <laughs> <laughs>